How to create an iOS-style segmented control, which is basically a horizontal list of segments, whereas only one segment can be selected at a time. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Inside the build method, we want to create this Cupertino segmented control widget. And here inside of the children property, you need to add here a map of key value pairs. So you always need to add here a key. So in this case, it's always an integer. Therefore, I also have added here an integer at the top. And as the value, we have then every time a widget inside. And lastly, you need to create also this on value change property. And now we can basically hot reload it. And then we see here this segmented control widget. By default, this widget has no state. So if I click on it, then nothing is happening. And therefore, if we click on one segment, we are always going here inside and we get then basically the key of this widget on which we have clicked. So if we have clicked on the header two, then we get here this value one inside of this property. And now we want to save this group value inside of our state. And therefore I go here to the state level and then I create here this group value field. And lastly, you also need to pass this group value back to your segmented control widget. Therefore simply put it here inside. And this is then basically defining always the current selected segment. And with this, we have now a functional segmented control widget. Next, you can easily change the style of each of your widgets. So in my case, I create here a new method and then I define here the style of each of these headers. So in this case, each of these headers is in a bigger font size. Next, you can also change the color of your segmented control widget. Therefore, you can supply here four different colors. And with this, you change here the color of your segments. And with the selected color, you always define here the background color of the selected item and also the foreground color of the unselected items. You also can define the unselected color and the unselected color is for the unselected items, the background color and for the selected item, the foreground color. And with the last two properties, you can change then the border color, which is then here the color around. And you also can change the press color. So if you press on an item, then you can change this color. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.